Before the break, we met a Succeeds Prize nominee for STEM education. And here's another one, Strive Prep Excel High School and the Hack School program. We went out to Hack School to learn more. Yeah, you got it. We spent, like, last year, like, every day here after school, practically, for hours. And we always had things to do, and it was always really interesting and intriguing, just having the teacher support and the space where we can just create things. And we're trying to make the speaker work, but we need a soldering iron to put this together. Leaving a work fence. Right now in my engineering class, we just kicked off a really cool project. Um, they each have a client. Uh, so one of them is the Denver Public Library and we're working with our client to solve some sort of problem for them and build something. So like if you walk into school, you'll see picnic tables out front with nice color paints on them, so they built all those picnic tables. Um, we have a podium that has our logo that they created. If you walk in, the, I brought those awards from the robotics competition. Those are showcased in this beautiful trophy case that has a light around it. They built that as well. And then put this in. In where? Right here. If you look over here, Basically what, what is there is a framework for brainstorming. Be visual, it says defer judgment. It says encourage wild ideas. It says build on the ideas of others. Brainstorming's huge and it's definitely a struggle because it contradicts a lot of um, some of the more formal education that we do, I think. Um, I have like the brainstorming rules on the wall over there and a big one of them is uh, quantity over quality. So as many ideas as you can think of, I don't care how dumb they are and also deferring judgment. So not judging something as soon as it comes off of the pencil onto the paper or out of your mouth. So that's something we really have to work on actually because um, it's not natural. If you look over here, um, Ms. Moran has the design process. This is how you build something. These are the stages that you go through. What I love most about the school is the relationship you get to build with teachers because we are not a huge school. You get to know your teacher kind of like not on a personal level but you get to form that connection of like, you know you're gonna have a support from that teacher if you ever need it. So that is unique about the school. That's what we like about the school. We don't know necessarily what careers are gonna look like in the future, but I think one thing that is pretty certain is that these skills are going to be integral. Like you have to be able to go through a process of creating something. You have to be able to brainstorm uh, productively in a way that's not stifling. Um, so if we can at the very least give students that foundation, the unknown will be a little bit more comfortable when it, when it does come. Tell me about winning the trophy. So the first one we got uh, after... Oh, so you got two. Yeah, we got two. Yeah. So the first one was when we did the first round of competition, uh, we were the only team to make it to regionals who was a rookie team. So the first year of our school doing it, we were the only team to be able to do that. So we got the Best Rookie Team Award from Best Robotics. And then the second award, it was for craftsmanship. So we uh, we worked on the or the robot pretty like intensely um, because it was just, it was a really short amount of time that we were given to work on the robot, to develop the body, to code, yeah. to work on the marketing. It was a really intense project yeah. in itself. Because we started um, over the entire robot like yes. a week before the deadline. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it was definitely intense. Like me and Dulu were here till like eight every night working with our teacher, get, being able to get everything done. Yeah. It was a lot. <laughs> so one of the one of the like positive points about the robot was that we um, did kind of like an art piece to it. Mm -hmm. So we painted the robot to kind of camouflage with the environment, so with the ocean. That was yeah. why we won that award. That resonates really strongly with me, uh, being a female engineer especially, because you go into some spaces and you're like, maybe I don't belong here. Um, but that is like so far from the truth. Um, anybody is welcome to be an engineer, welcome to be a maker. Even if you don't want to be an engineer, you can still make stuff and be interested in other things. Um, and there's projects that look complicated, and if you just get in there and start messing with stuff, you'll find that you actually know more than you think. Our hack school teacher last year had this idea of like a student internship program where people would like submit projects and say, hey, can we do this, can we do that? Um, and then the kids would take it upon themselves. So, um, I mean, the way I think is like the sky's the limit. It's like, you know, they're smarter than we are, so why not have them contribute to stuff that needs to change anyway? A student being excited about building something or learning something, for me to experience that, like there really isn't too much of a better privilege than that. 
Well, thanks for, to all for letting us hang out at the Hack School. You can root them on to win the Excellence in STEM Award presented by Ball Corporation at the Succeeds Prize Special, taking place on September 19th at 8 p.m. right here on Channel 9.